Okay, great. So we're gonna finish up our core by talking about the importance of lengthening the spine while strengthening the muscles around the vertebrae and how different this is than the kind of crunches that we do on the ground and the overuse of the neck instead of really activating the psoas and the entire torso. So we have um, the, wide, um, the leg wrap diagonal and then the plank toe touches like we did yesterday. And then I usually do dancer and like a half lotus and all these fancy things at the end that are not necessary but really pretty. But I really wanna focus on this long line of energy in the spine and why it's so important. So we're gonna have that conversation as I demo one more time. And then we're gonna move on. So I do all of my core activations upside down now. We're hanging. Because when we're lengthening the spine and then strengthening the space around it, you're more likely to keep that space when you're complete, as opposed to when you already have a contraction in the body and you, and you strengthen the muscles around the contraction, it's gonna reinforce the injury. Okay, so people are getting strong, but they're also getting tighter, which is kind of like cutting off circulation and suffocating the muscles and blah, blah, blah. So we wanna create as much length in space. So this is really important. We inhale here, create length. Exhale, squeeze and lift. So that we're always lengthening and then strengthening together. Okay, that's a little more information than the brain could probably handle while you're just trying to keep the spine in a straight line. But that's why we, uh, the pause is just as important as the crunch. Okay, so once we have all that length, we have our strength, then we can work on our balance. And I don't even need to use my hands, I'm just trying to find the pivot point. Once I have the pivot point, which is in my hips, it's not in my head. Most people are leading with their head, so they never play with that pivot point at the hips then you can leverage your power and move with ease and then come on down, right? So we're gonna learn how to come up and down in the swing with no effort, without straining the neck. Okay, that was my last demo. So just watch for the next round. Before we get back in the swing, we're gonna do the leg wrap and then we're gonna come into our plank toe touches. We did the plank toe touches yesterday in 3B with the half Buddha. This would be the more advanced version. So I'm gonna space you. I'm going to push the swing down towards my hips and then I'm gonna wrap one leg around. Let's start with the right leg. So this is the leg wrap and then I'm gonna bring my left foot out to nine o'clock, three o'clock for you, nine o'clock for me. And this is just a nice stretch. This is how I wake up in the morning. One leg all the way up. From there, I'm gonna hold on to the swing. I'm gonna lean back so I'm in my plank, right? We practice our straight line of energy. And now I'm going to lift, I can hold on to this if it starts to pop. I'm just going to lift my foot towards the sky and extend. The swing is gonna be on a diagonal. Make sure you find a spot where your kidneys are happy. Just wiggle around until you find it. So dancer, like I was saying, to Deborah is with the toes and the fingertips towards the floor. And then you can do plank. You can do dancer touches, toe touches, which are just a different version that I really like as well. But plank, we're trying to keep that straight line, make sure you're paying attention to where the crown of the head is in relationship to the tailbone and the full length of the spine. After that, we can reach back, grab for the foot with one hand or both hands and extend for a half lotus. We're gonna switch in the air, coming through an inversion and then change sides. So, my right foot has to come out to nine o'clock. So we're keeping that side plane. So the three nine plane. I'm just gonna hold on to this one so it doesn't pop. <laughs> plank, toe touch. Plank, toe touch. So as much as you can, find the long lines of energy. If you come into dancer and just kind of come to a big bow, it's okay. It's just we're trying to find that engagement. So you're not gonna go nearly as far. It's like halfway. After a few rounds, dancer, bend the knee, grab one hand, both hands, extend, just get a calm stretch. It's very pretty. And then we're just gonna come on down. <sighs> Stay in your sumo, work it out. I'd love for your swing to come up one more so you have a little bit of room. And these ones, it's, actually these ones it's fine. 
just in Path Lotus, you'll notice. Okay. When we start to do the inversions, we'll bring it up. So let's just leave it for this okay. round. All right, let's go. Let's get in our so face the garage. Face me. Face me. Okay. We're going to do the leg wrap, plank toe touches, dancer, half lotus, just to keep the names flowing in, the, in our brains. And then we're done with the core. <laughs> Reach the arms towards the sky, hug the swing, press it down with the forearms. Now you're pressing it down to the waist before we press it only to the lower ribs for our sumo. So we're going to lean back. Walk your feet, or let your feet slide to the front of the mat. I'm going to press my hand into the swing to kick my leg wide and around. Wide and around. Yes. And then my left foot is going to come out to 3 o'clock on the mat. So we're on a diagonal. 3 o'clock. Come to sit. So the left side of the swing is going to slide up to the Leave armpit. The All the way to the armpit. Come to sit. Mm -hmm. Come to sit. Come to sit. So drop your hips. Yeah, like that. So let the swing slide up to your armpit. Yeah, just, yeah, just hold on to it. Yeah. Just fine. Yeah, so you actually let your cheek rest on the swing and you want to press your hips to the front plane towards me. Yeah. That's it. Nice. So this is the diagonal leg stretch. It's kind of a, preference, uh, um, a prep pose. You can see the other plank toe touches was a little bit easier to get into. But since we're doing more of the advanced versions, then I figured I'd show you. Okay, we're gonna lift the left foot level with the earth, lean back, adjust the swing so it's comfortable across your back on a diagonal. Plank, toe touch. Level with the earth, plank, toe touch. You have to lift your head a lot more to come into a plank, Barbara. Plank, yeah, toe touch. Good, let's try five of those and then try dancer. So long arm, long leg, let your fingertips and toes grace the floor, and then toe touch. Dancer, toe touch, good. Come down to dancer, stay there. Bend the left knee, reach around and grab for the foot. Either one hand or both hands, see if you can find a nice stretch to the quad. Extend in all directions. So we stretch the belly. Open up the space after strengthening it. We're going to lean back and wrap that leg around. Change in the air. So left leg stays wrapped, right leg comes out and around. We're going to land that foot at 9 o'clock. Outside in, Barbara. Yeah. Nope, knees on the outside of the swing. Yeah, that's it. Knees on the outside of the swing, yeah. <laughs> I know. And then, <laughs> do you know your partner. Yeah, right foot is going to come down to 9 o'clock for you. Come to sit. That, that'll smooth down the time. Woo! <laughs> that was a bit of a transition. It's always good to have a good sense of humor. Yes. When we're learning something new. I've learned that. Okay, so we rest our cheek on the swing. We just take a pause. This is such a nice stretch. I'm going to hold on to the swing with my right hand. My left arm is free to float back. And then my right foot floats up to a plank. So find level with the earth. Raise your little left. So Barbara, look at me. Mm -hmm. My foot is straight out in front of me, and my head is level with the earth. Okay. Plank, toe touch. Plank, toe touch. Plank. This is the harder side. <laughs> there will be one. <laughs> Try to come down through scissors instead of kerplunking. We learned how to come down with control, right? Scissor kick down if you need to come out. Uh, it's the wrong side, Barbara. Outside of the knee. The knee's on the outside of the swing. Yeah, outside of the swing. Yeah, there you go. See, if you can just keep long lines of energy, don't go as far. So just come into a plank and raise your foot straight up. So it's long lines of energy. Long, straight arm, straight leg. Try to keep yourself level with there the whole time. And then dancer. You make a big rainbow with your body. You bend the right knee, grab for the foot with one hand or both hands. Sometimes it's good to adjust the swing a little bit lower for that one. Release that leg. Try to come down with control. Scissor down with control. Yeah. <laughs> Angel landing. Angel landing. <laughs> Angel landing. So it's like touchdown. Sumo. 
I'll always come back to Suva. Okay, that was our 45 minutes of core activation. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a fire in the furnace now. <laughs> this is our fire element, okay? Okay, so hold on to this thing, walk back. Let's take a little pause there. We're gonna come into our inversions. Let me just index this for, for us and then We'll come right back with another video.